So Oppo has just revealed the finer details of its fresh new Color OS 13 launcher, which will be spaffed out in a tasty beta form to select Oppo smartphones starting from this month. And they very kindly gave me a bit of a preview of Color OS 13 so I can share some of those sexy new bits with you right now. Version 13 is prettier than ever and packed with all kinds of new features including loads of new customization options and a couple of bits that do appear to have been cribbed wholesale from Apple's iOS. Now Color OS version 13 will first be coming to the Oppo Find X5 Pro and the regular Find X5 as well as the bendy Find N phone in August. And this will be followed by the Oppo Find X3 Pro and the Reno 8 Pro in early September. And if your chosen handset isn't one of those lucky few, don't worry, other Oppo blowers will start to get the Color OS 13 rollout from the end of 2022. And hopefully by the time this video goes live, Oppo's website will have full rollout details. So enough banging on, let's check out some of those fresh new bits. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. All right, so here on the left, we've got a Find X5 Pro on Color OS 12.1, the latest fully up-to-date public version of Color OS. And then on the right, we've got the Beta 13 version. Now, first up, the UI has been spruced up and tinkered with to make it even more user-friendly. So, for instance, one of the new additions is the large folder option, which will be very familiar to any iOS fans. Just long press on any folder and then choose the enlarge folder option. And as you can see there, you've now got a big ass folder. The advantage of a large folder is you can open up any of the apps contained within with just a quick tap of it without actually bothering to open up the folder itself. And this works over multiple pages too. And then if you want to shrink a folder back down again, just long press on it and go to shrink folder and it returns to a normal folder option. And in ColorOS version 13, the notifications bar and control center has also been tinkered with. So now the media controls, for instance, have been shunted right up to the very top so they won't get lost in a sea of other notifications. And the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings also have more prominent positions right up here at the top. So very easy again to access those settings. And you can once again fully customize all of the other toggles that appear in the control center section. It's very easy to toggle the auto brightness. You can now further customize the lock screen in ColorOS version 13 because now you can dive into clock style and actually change the clock from a vertical effort to a horizontal one. Ooh. And then those lock screen settings, you've also got faster access to the lock screen magazine shenanigans if you're into all that. It's a good option if you want a completely different random photo popping up on your lock screen whenever you unlock your smartphone like a cheery looking dog, more fluffy animals and dogs same dog twice. You will notice much bolder fonts in ColorOS version 13 as well, right here on the desktops, for instance, on the clock widget. And when you dive on into that control center again, they really like their bold fonts in this new version. And some of those ColorOS apps have changed up a bit as well. So for instance, dive on into the clock app. Again, those bolder fonts are immediately obvious and you've got spruced up animations on the go as well. But quite a few of the Color OS apps are basically the same. So for instance, the Overlax app hasn't changed up at all. The same great selection of relaxing sounds and ambient music to calm you down when things are going a bit mental. Music is basically the same as well, no real changes there. But something that Oppo really has concentrated on quite a lot for Color OS 13 is the always on display. These settings can be accessed from the wallpaper and style section as usual, just tap always on display. And in here, you'll immediately notice the new contextual information section. This basically adds music playback control for Spotify users to the always on display so you can skip tracks, etc., without even bothering to wake up the phone. Just give this music playback option a wee poke and you will be encouraged to download Spotify because unfortunately Spotify is the only service that this currently supports. If you happen to use Deezer, like me, or Tidal, or one of the many, many other streaming services, then you're kind of shit out of luck. But hopefully Oppo will add support for these services in a future update. But anyhow, start playing some tunes in Spotify, and then if we hibernate the Find X5 Pro, as you see there in the always on display, you've now got your Spotify widget bar, so you can quickly see exactly what is playing at any given moment. And then if you give that a quick tap, it'll actually pop up for media controls. Let's just try that one again. Clearly still a, uh, a work in progress. There we go. So as you can see, you can like a track, you can pause, pause, pause and something, maybe skip a track, uh, whatever. It's a little bit shonky, but it is still in beta, of course. And in Color OS 13, you'll find that's not the only tinkering to the always on displays. You've also got lots of new always on display options to choose from. That includes this insight effort ripped straight from good old OnePlus, of course. 
This basically shows you how often you've unlocked your phone throughout the course of a day to try and shame you into putting your phone away and actually interacting with people like your family instead of just shouting at strangers on Twitter. Alternatively, there's the new home option. And this is designed to lay even extra misery onto you by showing you how we're buggering up the planet with our evil twisted ways. With this, you can see how just a one degree change in the global temperature will really f up your average polar bear, penguin or fish out of Finding Nemo. So yeah, maybe stop making a bonfire out of plastic chairs in your garden every time you've had a skin fall. Or alternatively, if you'd rather have an always on display that won't encourage you to seek out the nearest high rooftop to hurl yourself off of, there's always the new Bitmoji option. And what this does is just splashes a cartoon version of your own lovely Gurnan mug all over your always on display instead. Oh look, here's me as a flower playing a guitar. Great stuff. Now I've forgotten all about those stupid dead penguins. And in a similar vein to that insight always on display, Oppo has also added this funky blossom live wallpaper into Color OS 13. This starts each day as a lush green plant, but as you near your screen time goal, it will wither away faster than my erection whenever Jim's cordon pops into my brain. And then if you actually go over your screen on goal, it will eventually turn into a metal monstrosity. Your screen time goal can be as little as one hour, but you can also bump it all the way up to 22 hours. And frankly, if you're trying to cut your smartphone use down to just 22 hours a day, you might have a bit of a problem, mate. That's quite a lot of the main stuff, but you will find a few other little changes scattered around here and there as well. So for instance, dive into the settings and go to the battery section. You'll see that the layout has been jiggered about, so the usage is right up here at the top, as well as the biggest offenders when it comes to sucking up all of your juice. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to About Device, this has also changed. The current software version is a lot more obvious and you've also got more system information chucked in here too. This includes a breakdown of your camera tech and some of the sexiest features packed away inside of there. You've also got a bit more information about Marisilicon X, the NPU, if you've got a Oppo smartphone that has that packed in there, obviously. And Color OS version 13 also supports Oppo's fresh new Always Alive Apps feature, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It's supposed to help prevent your apps from closing down too frequently in the background. Can't say I've noticed much of a difference on the Finex 5 Pro so far, but hopefully that will make a difference, especially to some of the more basic budgety Oppo smartphones with a lot less memory to play with. And besides all of that good stuff, you've also got some enhanced privacy and security options as well, which I haven't really had a chance to test out yet in this beta version of Color OS 13. So little things like, for instance, when you're messaging, apparently if you're typing out some sensitive stuff like passwords, pin numbers, anything like that, that will be automatically masked for you so no one can cop an eye fall over your shoulder. So that right there is a preview of some of the biggest and best new features you'll find packed inside of Color OS version 13. Now, what do you guys reckon? Are you happy with some of the new tools and stuff that they've chucked in there? Do you think it's a little bit lack? It'll be great to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a fine ass rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.